News. Thank you, Chris. Oh, well, the night's season officially ended today, there was a lot of news to report. Ron Futrell was at City National Arena today for the exit interviews. And of course, the talk was mostly about how the season ended for the Knights. It is tonight's striking goal. Ron? Yeah, Christian, making the playoffs in each of the Knights' first two seasons is remarkable. But still, the pain of losing that last game the way they did is still present, and it will be for a while. Some of the big news today, General Manager George, George McPhee said the NHL called him to apologize for the mistake their officials made on the ice. The league did reach out and uh, did apologize. You know, they made a mistake. Um, I'm sure they feel uh, bad about it. Um, they want to get things right like we all want to get things right when we're, when we're doing our jobs. The play, of course, was the one that turned Game 7. With the Knights leading 3-0, 11 minutes left against the Sharks, Cody Eakin with a cross-check of Joe Pavelski, and instead of what probably should have been a two-minute minor penalty, it was a five-minute major. The Sharks scored four goals, and, well, you know the rest. For the first time, Eakin spoke about the incident today. Everyone saw the play and knows what happened, and, um, you know, we can't... Uh, can't think about it anymore, really. Was it the wrong call by the officials on the ice? Yeah, I think it was uh, the mistakes were made, but it's a fast game. You know, that kind of stuff happens. Just describe the play from your point of view and what happened. Lost face-off. Um, tried to get out the guy and um, unfortunate fall. That's it. How have you felt since then? What have the teammates said to you, coach said to you, and, and what's been their reaction? Um, yeah, there's just a lot of disappointment losing. You know, at the end of the day, we lost the game, and, and um, it sucks losing. So yeah, I talked to him five minutes ago in the lunchroom, and I said, Cody, he said, Turk, I'm I'm fine. He said, I know I didn't do nothing wrong. So he said, I'm fine. He said, I can move on and go from that. So, you know, you felt bad for Cody, obviously, but uh, he's fine and he's ready to go again. And uh, like I said, it's but you know, nobody's blaming Cody Eakin, obviously. There you go. And by the way, Cody Eakin had his best season as a pro. 22 goals, 19 assists this year. That was best for sixth best on the team. And he and the rest of the guys are optimistic looking forward, already looking forward to season number three for the Knights. Also, the two officials involved in that call, mm -hmm. Dan O'Halloran and Ed Fur uh, Furat, have both been Ixnade, is that the right word we can use? You sure, all understand yes. what I mean when I say that? They are not going to the second round of the playoffs. If that's any consolation for Knights fans, the league said they will not be officiating that's in the next round of the playoffs. Yeah. So, so a, a big, uh, you know, the, the league is really, for what it's worth, yeah. the league is coming out and saying what we all said that night, horrible call, yeah. the Knights paid the price, that's season number two. It's a little bit better than an apology, but, you know. Yeah. And they got the phone call and that, so That's Mia so, Culpa. Yeah. yeah, Mia Culpa. There you go. <laughs> Next year. Next Thanks, year. <laughs> All right, still ahead here on the Valley's News Leader, we've already given you sneak peek our earlier.